Hey, what is up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Now, you know, when it comes to water cooling, I've always been so intimidated to a point where, you know what, I told myself, I'm going to stick to all-in-one coolers because you know what, they're much safer and, and they give reasonable results. You know, because you hear sort of like nightmare stories when it comes to water cooling, like say, pumps leaking, you know, even coolants clogging up, you know, pistol-based coolants clogging up, you know, from brands that I don't want to mention, and even tubing's gone wrong, you know, bands gone wrong, bands gone ugly, and even like, you know, things breaking, things leaking, just shower your whole motherboard, your PC with water and stuff like that. So these are the kind of stories or the kind of things that I've always been hearing when it comes to water cooling. You know what, I sort of eventually caved in because you know, if you want to overclock your PC or your CPU specifically or even your GPU, you really have to use custom water cooling because you know, in the end, all-in-one coolers just wouldn't do it because obviously their pumps aren't as efficient as say, I would say a, a D5 pump from EK or XSPC and stuff like that, you know, or even their radiators are not good enough, you know, the heat transfers are not good enough, even the heat sink and stuff like that. So efficiency is always the key right here. Now, when it comes to water cooling as well, it's really about you not know, how low your idle temps are, in my opinion, it's really about how, how really, how quickly can you dissipate heat from one point to another, from your GPU to the radiator and stuff like that, and basically how fast you can cool it down lah, you know? So, hence why I sort of like caved in into water cooling. So what I did after that, I rang up this guy, his name is Kiri. So Kiri is from Emark. Um, Emark is a Malaysian company. It's this water cooling company that does water cooling solutions or provide water cooling solutions for, for computer enthusiasts or PC enthusiasts or master race guys and stuff like that. And, and they, what they do is they do high-end stuff like EKWB, XSPC. I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description section below for you to check it out as well. If you're interested to inquire, just maybe you say Tekan Start, maybe he'll give you a good discount. I don't know, man. That's, that's your luck. So I, I, I told Kiri, I said, Kiri, I need some some help with my cooling and then you get wet so so obviously he thought like what is this guy asking me to get wet but what I actually meant was you know I said my temps are really going up and I'm using a 6800k it's overclocked to 4.2 and and things are really really getting a bit steamy and I'm, and I'm having about seven fans on my AIO I have a push-pull configuration I have two or three ML 140s you know and cooling isn't really as efficient so I thought you know and, and really when it comes to too many fans noise is also an issue so I, I get really irritated so what Kiri said, you know, let's try the P240 from EKWB and let's try the cooling kit and see how far you can go with it. And I was like, yep, let's do it, man. Let's, let's do this EKWB stuff. So what you get is a Supremacy EVO water block, a Coolstream 240 radiator, a 140ml Revo D5 pump combo, which pretty means it comes together with a reservoir and a pump with variable speed. So you can basically control it via your motherboard. You get two EK Vada fans, which are pretty much made for heat work. You get nickel fitting, so that's pretty cool, and a 100ml of EK coolant. But of course, you can purchase an extra one for like 70 bucks and stuff like that. And of course, not forgetting the two meters of PVC tube for your soft tubing, of course. So I did a quick time-lapse video and I hope you really enjoyed this little time-lapse video as much as I enjoyed building it. It was really a nice learning curve as well, so I hope you enjoyed this little video.
So obviously after assembling this whole water cooling kit, you gotta do some tests, right? You gotta see how much lower your 100% CPU load temps can actually get. So what I actually did was I ran some IDA64 tests for like 10 to 15 minutes. I did some prime as well, just to see how far the temperatures can go. I did some rendering too, and I got about 74 to 77 degrees, and that's really impressive. Now given the fact, number one, I'm actually just using three fans in this PC right here. So I'm using one exhaust, the ML140 from Corsair, I'm using two EK Vada fans that came together with the kit and I got about 10 to 12 degrees less. So in my opinion, that's efficiency right there. Obviously you get lower temps, about 12 degrees, but you're looking at less in terms of noise, you get less noises and, and the pump doesn't actually make that much noise in contrary to popular belief. So you gotta get higher quality motors for your for your pump so they, they don't actually make tons of noises and stuff like that and I think it's really negligible when it comes to this noise and you gotta shut this door so right now it's open and I usually have it shut just to show you guys what I have back here. Hope this little video did open up your perspective a little bit on custom water cooling because you know what it really isn't that difficult. Now if you look at the whole time-lapse video I sort of did it obviously it's uh, I speed up a little bit this time-lapse video but I did it in like what an hour or so I did um, I did even some testing as well I did some couple of flushes as well just to clean up the whole rest and or the whole tubing and stuff just to be sure but other than that everything seems pretty pretty simple and it really really is all you have to do is read the manual and you're pretty much done of course a big shout out to Kiri and Imak Malaysia for helping me out to source this product I know it was back-to-back -back orders so thank you so much guys for helping me out I really appreciate it and and it really means a lot for content creators like myself you know um, just to share some new experiences I guess it's a new experience for me as well anyway give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and of course hit the subscribe button if you have not Leave me some comments and let me know what you think about this video, man. And of course, feel free to share it around. And as usual, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.